Yeah, watching the mist in black and white. Never seen it before. And it's cool seeing it in black and white. And a view will be coming up sometime at my buddy Jonas' house. All right. Yeah, it's really cool so far. I like it so far. And it's totally, I mean, I've never seen it before, and it's really neat seeing it in black and white. I mean, can you hear me? Awesome. And we're about to watch Cabin in the Woods. I've never seen it before. So I guess there'll be a double feature film review of uh, The Mist in Black and White and Cabin in the Woods. We'll lay John's place. Awesome. <laughs> All right. Uh, cool. Oh, I need a napkin. Oop. Get digging for some salad. Oh, that salad is really good from Norman's. No, I, I like that place. Yeah, they do some good food. And the guy. <laughs> but that won't last. Hey, my legion, how y'all doing today? Uh, why is this video in black and white? Well, I'm going to tell you. Um, after Comic Con in Erie, uh, we went to a place called Norman's. John and I went to a place called Norman's Deli Pizzeria. Get some food there, and he asked if I want to watch the movie. His place. I said, sure. And of course, we, you know, we love the horror films, and we like other movies too. Uh, and he said, "You want to watch the Mist in Black and White?" I said, "Yeah." I said, "Well, hell, I'll do the review in Black and White." He said, "You can do that on a webcam like that, which is pretty cool." And I never seen the Mist before, believe it or not. Uh, I remember buying it on DVD, and we got so far behind on DVDs, my dad and I, and my dad passed away without never seeing it, which is a shame. But he, I know he was a big fan of Andre Brower, even though he didn't care for Brooklyn 911. You know, he's on that, but he liked him in, like, shows like Hack or Thief. And he won an uh, Emmy in Thief, but Thief only lasted one season on FX before they canceled it, and that was really good. Linda Hamilton was in there, and they had Wayne Brady playing like a psycho, which surprised the hell out of me. Psycho bad guy, he was really good at it. And I was like shocked. He's the guy who hosts Price is Right. I mean, not Price is Right, uh, let's make a deal at 3 o'clock on CBS in the afternoons. Well, anyways, uh, they had Dragon Frank Durbont talking about that, and he said that he always wanted it to be in black and white, and like uh, studios were against it, and like he said, nowadays you can. Uh, you can do it like that on DVD and stuff like that. And he said it's like a throwback to like the... Stephen King said the same. Throwback to like Burt uh, Gordon films. And uh, maybe some of like the Ray Harryhausen stuff. And like Burt I. Gordon did stuff like Empire of the Ant and Who Are the Gods. And what The Mist is about is like... Uh, a whole bunch of uh, occurrences happen at the very beginning. And these people go to this... Uh, there's like some bizarre stuff happening. And people are, uh, go to the grocery store. And the guy said, this guy gets attacked in the mist. And, he run, and then it's like the town is completely uh, frozen, kind of, by this mist. Stuck in this grocery store. And what's on the outside? And the outside turns to be monsters and stuff. And it's a very entertaining, very riveting thing. i never seen a movie before. I think black and white, seeing it the first time in black and white, maybe gives it a different quality to it. Uh, gives it a very different... Like a Night of the Living Dead type quality, which is really cool because it's about like people trapped in a location trying to fight uh, whatever force it is from the outside. Someone like, uh, what, like Night of the Living Dead or Killer Shrews and stuff like that. Or even The Strangers, kind of. Um, it's a very entertaining film. I really enjoyed it watching John. I, I have a little bit of footage of him um, from that place. Reviewing it was really cool. I, I really enjoyed the film. I give it a full on 10 out of 10. Now, let's help with what happens if I switch over to another format for the next review, Cabin in the Woods. Oh, wow, that's so weird. Uh, once again, Cabin in the Woods was a big hit movie back in 2011. I never seen it. John's like, You never seen it? I said, No. I knew it was like a big horror comedy uh, with a big twist, and it was a big hit film. Oh, also, I, before I forget, a lot of people hated the ending of uh, the way uh, the mist ended. Stephen King said he wished he would have wrote that ending in. It said the director wanted to do that ending for like 20 years or so, something like that. 
I think the studio was against it, but I mean, I think uh, that he waived his director's fee or something like that, and they made it at like a lower budget and stuff like that to, so he can get his ending in. And I think the ending's great. It messed up, but it's really good. I'm like, no spoilers here. So there you have it for uh, reviewing uh, The Mist of Black and White. Now let's go back to Cabin in the Woods. It's a very unique thing. It takes a typical horror film like an Evil Dead or something like that. And there's little elements of other horror films in it. And it's like it's a, like an experiment. Kind of. Putting these uh, teenagers through their paces, as they call them. That reminds me of uh, uh, John uh, Winter's football DVD. He said, let's put these people through their paces. Um, very entertaining. Very funny. It seems like I don't want to give away a whole lot. Um, without giving any spoilers. Most people have probably seen the movie. I loved it. I give it a full on 10 out of 10. I want to thank my friend Tony Town for making me, uh, this is such a weird, I should probably do some more things like this with these weird effects and stuff. Um, wow, such a weird effect. I hope you, I hope you like this video. I want to thank my buddy John Walkwitz for everything, um, being so cool and everything. And also, uh, Tony Town made me a thumbnail. I got two T-shirts for me and be designs on Amazon. I'm selling. I hope you check it out. I'll put the link in the description. I hope you like this review. And as always, everybody, please do have that if I do this. Take care, of my legion. Cool effects, man. All right. Yeah, here's my photo with Don Wells, otherwise known as Marianne from Gilgis Island. So take care and take care, of my legion.